Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as Reikland going up against Grimgore, where there's a lot of things really working against us in this battle here. In terms of the overall strength of our armies, it's pretty close to being even. Obviously, Grimgore stuff is a little bit stronger, but our reinforcing army here is pretty good with loads of guns. Now, it is a settlement siege defense, and unfortunately, Zuffbar's settlement type sucks. This is one of the worst defensive settlements in the game, especially if you're going up against large armies. The reason for that is because the walls are fairly close to the town square, and the town square has five entry points into it, which... It's just not good. This just gives the AI loads of options, the attacker loads of options for getting in there. There are some siege maps which are... the, the um, Town Square is a good distance away from the walls, meaning the reason why you want that is because enemy artillery uh, have to get closer or are just obstructed and also are covered by terrain. This one here is completely out in the open. Also, it's a fairly small town square, meaning if you want to put this many guns in there, they're just not going to shoot because they're going to be too cramped. And there's just... It's basically just a messy map with no real strategic thought at all put into it. And of course, holding the walls is complete stupid because the walls are so bad. Your guns and stuff shooting up on the walls, they actually fire worse up on the walls than they do on the ground. It's ridiculous, but that's just how it is. So we really don't want to prioritize holding the walls. All right, uh, the next question, I suppose, is whether or not we want to control large armies. There's pluses and minuses to both. If we don't control large armies, obviously we won't have to deal with as much to begin with. However, our best army doesn't show up in full to begin with. Now, the problem with that is that these guys here are not quick to deploy. Also, Gotrix and fucking Force March, so that's going to be a problem. Now, it's likely that this guy rushed Gotrix over here quickly as he could to reinforce a settlement. It wasn't just like force marching around and got caught in force march sort of thing. <clears throat> I think he foresaw this was going to happen. So I don't necessarily have a problem with that. But the thing is, if we lose, he gets wiped out. Um, so we have to win. And um, if we if we do control large armies, these guys will still come in as reinforcements, but we'll be able to deploy them more or less before more, oh, these guys show up. Problem is, it's going to be really cramped. I'm going to go with control large armies because I feel I can get a better result that way. But really, no options are like, oh yeah, this is our clear path to victory and everything's going to be easy. We just don't have that here. Uh, we really do need to shoot down Grimgor as quickly as possible or else he's going to kill a lot of our troops. Um, it's not really good to duel him on very hard battle difficulty, but we'll see what we can do. Let's just move everyone off the wall to begin with. Alright, Empire Knights... Um, I got an idea with them. I might send them out here, because they have absolutely no killing power whatsoever. They are fucking crap, right? But if we could get a bunch of their units to just chase after them, um, well, then we might delay them a little bit. Because, um, yeah, otherwise... I don't know. That might seem stupid, actually. Maybe they should just stay here. You know what? Stay at the back here and defend the back position, because I'm never going to be able to get them out there to get to the artillery. If I ran out here... Um, they're just not fast enough to outrun the Orc Boy, Boar Boy Biggins. It'll just never work. It doesn't matter how good your micro is, because if the enemy is faster than you, they're just faster than you. Uh, okay. Let's start putting some units around. We need to put a lot of uh, stuff around, a lot of, um, to block off the ways into the town square. Uh, I reckon a firing line will have to go through here, so we don't want too many ways blocking that. Okay, I want this guy over here. I don't really care if he dies. You stay over there, just to begin with. I'll bring you down eventually. I'll put that one there. And I'll put one over here. I got an idea with this. So, if we leave this guy here, what'll happen is they'll land on the um, on the wall here. And just slowly eat him up. Put them all in guard mode. Uh, maybe don't fire at will to begin with. No, actually, just fire it. It doesn't matter. Um, I think we got enough ammunition. Yeah, so if we if we dock like this, what will end up happening is that the Black Orcs come down here. Because more of their entities are fighting more of our entities, they just they just kill us really quickly. Now, we, what, we want, what we want to do here is have our melee infantry delay. Make use of their melee defense or make use of weird formations. So by doing this, all of their units can only really hit one guy at a time. As, and they just have to walk their way over here, at least until they break. It buys us a little bit of time. Uh, it's not ideal, but there's so much about this battle that isn't ideal. Another thing that really sucks about this map is the buildings here. Whoever designed this, shame on you, right? 
if you're usually when you're fighting this battle, you're standing here looking, and there's this fucking building here, right? And it stops you from being able to click in certain areas. It's like, oh, are you supposed? Are you trying to click on the graphics? Yeah, make it unclickable, or make it so that it goes transparent if the fucking uh, camera goes near it. Very, very bad. Come on, CA. <laughs> Hopefully they'll fix this stuff in in game three. I, like, just delete this map. Get just get it out of there. It's bad. All right, uh, and then we'll actually with these ones here. I might deploy there because these guns are not going to be able to. I'm not going to fit all of them in here. I'll try to get as many of them in there as I can. But we're going to have to be fighting over here. So this entry point here, Stay I might hold it back from there. And we'll see how that goes. Put the crossbows behind the guns. All right, let's see how we go. So Grimgore's got a ruby ring of ruin. I don't really care, that's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, really try to aim at the Black Orcs because that's going to be our biggest problem here. Because of all of uh, Grimgore's bonuses and AI cheats, they're going to be very, very strong. They eat through us really quickly. Uh, shoot it over this way as well because we'll, we'll just kill more units back here. Even though they might be weaker units. Uh, actually, you know what? Don't shoot the start here. We're not doing much. But yeah, the reason why you don't go after the, the tower is because you can destroy it like 98%. But if you don't 100% destroy it, well then... It doesn't matter. Hang on. Wait until they stop moving. Okay, got some guns over here. Get them into the town square, because we're going to need the firepower to kill Grimgore. I think he's going to come down this way. Alright, I want Gotrick and a Warrior Priest over here. And Felix and a Warrior Priest over here. This guy here could just hold out for a little bit. That would be good. Good, we nearly wiped that one out. Don't want to be using Fireball. Fireball's shit. This guy here is not going to last long. Um, bring, bring him down off the wall. Oh, actually, if we can hold onto this tower here as long as possible, it'll actually do more damage than the sword, but never will. But yeah, he's, he's a goner. Alright, these guys, more of them coming in. I'm in there, so I kind of know where roughly they are. Yeah, see how they're, they're fighting like this? They're only going to fight a couple of units at a time, though. That's ideal. Ready for war. I okay, you can't stay up on the wall any longer. Okay, we got more troops coming in. Ready for war. Bring another two in. Formation. Yeah, there's, there's Grimgore there. Okay, we got mortars coming in now. That's great. Set them up over here. Fire whatever you want. That's not ideal. Okay, bring that guy down off the wall. Help us tank. Ah, uh, shit. We're going to be shooting Grimgore. Shoot Grimgore. Now, what we want to do with Grimgore is actually not engage him at all in melee. Just keep running away from him because it's... Completely pointless. The problem is, though, I gotta slow down all these other black orcs. Just keep firing at him. Because, yeah, while he's in the middle of a fight there, he's really hard to. Ugh, I'm not gonna be able to get him like this. It's too cramped. Alright, guns. Oh god, what a mess. Fuck! I didn't have enough time to get organized. Can't get over there. Did some damage to him, but it's still a bloody mess there. Doesn't matter in the slightest if he dies. That's it, keep shooting that. Bloody cramped. Okay, you shoot at that. 
Should be good. Where's my flame boy? Okay, we're getting some damage on Grimgore. Try to run him back over this way, if we can, because he's currently chewing up these, um, these swordsmen. It'd be great if we could actually get him. But, like I said, really fucking cramped in here. Getting some good shots on him, though. Okay. There's a lot going on. This guy here's had enough. The Arachnorok's pretty much gone. They're doing okay. Okay, now Grimgore's eating up this one. I need more guys holding this back. Uh, actually, could you guys here bomb this? This is way more dire than anywhere else. Come on, if we get rid of Grimgore, we can maybe break these guys when they're not completely dead. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. Little bit more. Got him, good stuff. All right, now fire into this. Okay, no one's coming around our rear, that's good. Okay, this is going a bit better now. Shooting at stuff over here, holding them back. Good, that's working. Any chance we could? No, you can't reach. Okay, another burning head would be nice. Let's do it there. Because that'll break him because of the leadership penalties. Keep bombing that general area. Good, we got enough firepower here that's working. Like I said, you can you can put a few units. Oh god, look at this one. Put a few units in here, but put too many, it just gets super cramped. Okay, Godric's getting fucked. Well, oh, both these guys are getting fucked up. Get him, get him out, get him out, get him out. What, what's going on here? Why aren't you guys shooting? Why aren't you guys shooting? Okay, there's probably not enough space for them to see. You move over here. All right, let's uh, let's bring you over here. That guy will probably rally because I popped down the health potion right before he routed. Okay, what do you guys think you're doing good over here? All right, stop these from shooting. Uh, now this is the most dire position. Uh, Felix is doing okay over there. Uh, move this guy back a little bit uh, and move Felix back. Oh, you know what we need to shoot? Fucking snotling pump wagons. Nasty bastards. Uh, what the fuck are you doing here? Okay, we've mm, we're not out of the woods yet. We've still got guys incoming. Another problem is I gotta keep my eyes out everywhere. This is so much ground I've got to keep an eye on. Um, yeah. Okay. So the uh, the knights should be able to come in now that the black orcs are mostly done for. Should be okay. Ah, oh, fuck! It bounced. It only did a little bit of damage, but yeah, it bounced. Oops. Okay, we're getting a little bit of a run over here. I need you guys to bomb here. Now this is the most dire position. Felix is. I want to send him in here just to pop this down. Oh, did my other... No, no, there he is. He's, he's back. Bring him back. Still more coming in. We're okay. Okay, most units are shooting at something. Okay, squigs over there. they got to go down. That guy up. Alright, there's the army losses. We did it, and I don't think any of our units got wiped out. Uh, oh, you've been shooting at nothing for a bit. Yeah, I mean, the garrison took a beating, but that's totally fine. I don't think any of the main army got wiped out. Killing Grimgore really early made a big difference, I think. That's part of the problem when you aim at the ground, but we need to aim at the ground to get some really good hits in. Because if you just aim at the unit, sometimes you get a lot of friendly fire. Alright, we still got the Empire Knights, so we'll run them down a bit. I think this is a fairly early army losses. I don't think I've got any more health potions. 
Yeah, the actual army itself took really minimal damage. Okay. Yeah, I think that controlling a large army here was actually better than uh, not controlling a large army because it, like, the reinforcing army didn't really do anything interesting. Just apart from overwhelming us with numbers, which Burning Head and the Mortars sort of cleared out. It was really about getting rid of the Black Orcs and Grimgore as early as possible. Alright, that's about all we're going to do. Close victory. Yeah, I mean, we did take a lot of casualties, so that's fine. But, yeah, it's mostly confined to the actual um, garrison, which is ideal. It definitely didn't fight it perfectly. There was just so much going on. It was really hard to keep track of everything. Which is another problem with that map. Because if you've got everything all within your line of sight, you can see where things are going wrong. But when your army is spread out all over the place, you know, if something's going wrong somewhere and you don't have the map, um, which I'm used to not looking at anyway, then you don't notice it happening. This is usually why tight formations work better for the player, because you can see everything that's going on. But of course, the more busy things are, you, something could be going on right in front of your eyes and you won't notice it. But yeah, only only the heroes really took any serious damage. Yeah! Alright, we'll see what else is going on. Get ready to hand it back. Because yeah, another part of the problem, this is... This happens a fair bit. Um, I routinely don't control large armies and so people watch that and be like oh i should always not control large armies and then they don't understand the reasoning behind not controlling the large army uh yeah it's independence and the thing is see most disaster battles you have to you it, it is better to not control large armies but not all of them and i reckon this guy here was fighting this not controlling a large army and i think he would have won it if he had control the large army because you needed these guys here for the actual damage because the garrison itself the um there's just too much melee infantry in there and you just can't rely on them there's not enough guns to hold back all of those black orcs and the problem with that map as well is that by the time your reinforcements come in they've over already overrun your garrison so you should be able to you'll need to lightning strike that but he can't lightning Strike. Let me. Oh, you can't kick Gotrick out? Oh, that's stupid. Because if we have a look here. If you can recruit lords at rank 10, you can get that lightning strike. But because you got Gotrick here, you can't. There's no way you'll take on two, four of these armies. There's just no way. Um, You can block. Yeah, you can block one. With the Witch Hunter, that's probably what you were doing. Ugh. You know the bad end. Oh, hang on, you've got two Witch Hunters here. You could technically block both of them, but then this one here. Well, what you could do then, is go into Ambush Dance, block this one, and this one. Go into Ambush Dance exactly where you are. And wait for them to just move around a little bit. And maybe you'll get a better opportunity next turn. Oh god, you're having a big green skin invasion. Yeah, one of the great things about Witch Hunters now. 100% success chance. I knew you, you were doing that because you recruited so many arch selectors. Because I knew what you were doing. Cool. Uh, but the campaign is not going too bad. Yeah, definitely don't... Con oh, I mean, Confederating Norn gives you access to good artillery. But you want to get your um your Imperial Authority up. I don't know if you want to confederate them or not. Um, at this stage here. I mean, it is fairly late in the campaign. But, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not given instructions on what to do in that situation, so I just do what I think is best. Anyway, that's the end of this one here. I think this campaign, it's, it's going okay. It's not the best one I've ever seen, but, you know, it's getting there. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys. I uh, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.